Are you struggling to make your first $1,000 online with print on demand? If so, what I'm about to share with you is going to change the game. After selling $10 million of print on demand products over the past 10 years of doing print on demand full time, this one key element was the difference between the months where I made nothing and the months where I did hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's not the perfect design, it wasn't the perfect niche, and it wasn't a winning product. It wasn't even the magical ad strategy. It is something far less sexy, but ultimately much more important. It's one word, and once I realized its power, I was able to chalk up some serious numbers. Now, during the past 10 years, it hasn't always been sunshine and rainbows. There has been some serious dark days where I've almost had to go back to the nine to five. In one particular hard time, I went back to laboring for three weeks just to make sure the bills were paid. And as a carpenter and having experienced success prior to it, you can imagine how demoralizing that may have been. At the time, I had been doing tons of work in my print on demand business. I'd created tons of designs on tons of different products. I was trying to sell on multiple different platforms and trying different forms of e-commerce. But in each of the periods where I was selling millions of dollars worth of apparel or millions of dollars worth of jewelry, I discovered that the power of this word was the reason for my success. And after I discovered what was needed for success, it now forms the backbone of what I teach all my students in Podhacks, my coaching program for print on demand. My ultimate and continued success came down to putting all my attention onto one core thing at a time. One main product, whether it was apparel, metal, jewelry, art, or sneakers. One advertising platform. For me, it's always been Facebook and Instagram for the paid marketing. One ad strategy. And the way to apply it to Etsy is like this. Having one to three core products, focus on just selling on Etsy. And once you've started creating products based on good fundamentals with each product getting better and better, the focus needs to go in optimizing each of those listings. Once you've got that nailed, now you have to focus on your workflow. With your launch goal each week in mind, say it's 20, then you want to batch find 20 concepts to be designed. Once you have those concepts, get them designed. Once designed, batch upload and batch publish, making sure to optimize each. See, the thing is, when I was focused on all the different designs, on all different niches, on all different products, I was pulled incredibly thin. If you test 50 designs into 50 niches on 50 products, you are only giving yourself one real shot in each of those niches to find success. It takes so long to switch from product to product, design to design, niche to niche. Each has a nuance that you must learn each time. Thinking about price specifically, for jewelry, it's a sentimental gift. It's the expression of how one person feels about another. You are speaking and creating these pieces on behalf of somebody to give to another person. For apparel, it's statement-based. It's about planting a flag. This is who I am. This is what I stand for. This is what I believe in. For wall decor, it's more personalized and focused on the passion within the niche itself. It's often more family-based and personalization is a massive driver of the sales. Now, if you focus on all the different products at once, trying to design for each, you have to switch gears and get your mind in the mode for that particular product. Focusing on minimal products and minimal niches allows you to explode the amount of output of quality designs. It has been proven that each time we're distracted, it can take up to 23 minutes to refocus on the tasks that we were doing. Think about that for a moment. If you're focused on several different products and you've only got two hours in a day to be able to focus on your print on demand business, every time you switch, you are wasting 23 minutes before you're actually in the zone to create for that product. Locking in on your niche, you will see your output could explode. One to three products, you're in the zone. And this goes for platforms you're selling on and niches you're selling into. I cannot state strongly enough the importance that focus has played in my own print on demand success. Now, going back to the 50 designs as an example, on Etsy, it's likely going to take between 100 to 300 products before you zero in on your winning product. And that's only if you're improving each product when you are launching. With three niches and 50 designs into each, that's 150 designs designs in total. The laws of compounding are starting to work in your favor and you're going to find those winning products far sooner. The importance of focus is the backbone to what I teach in Podhacks, my coaching program for print on demand. In it, I'm teaching you the step-by-step -step blueprint to creating five to $10,000 plus months in as little as two hours a day. If you'd love to create more time freedom and financial independence in your life, make sure you hit the first link in the description below. Watch the free training and if you love the sound of it, make sure you book a call with me and my team. And if 
if you want to learn how to create print-on-demand products with the power of AI, make sure you watch this video next. But before you go, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay awesome.